the rhythmic song of your heart and soul. March 2, 2014 Everywhere you go, there are so many people with mixed emotions. It is visible to anyone who is clearly seeing that there is a determined passion that is filled with resentment towards another, and you see this hatred, this animosity in your newspapers, news media and other informational sources, displaying screaming, violence and hurtful ways. The news you read is disheartening, sometimes you cry or become upset yourself from what you see in the images captured and from the words expressed. These stories sicken your dear and precious heart, making it another challenge for you to overcome in order to bring peace, love, and compassion into your world. The emotions that are being felt and shared go in many directions, affecting many dear souls, even people far from where the troubling situation is at. When emotions overwhelm and become heated with negativity and you take action from this energy, you are no longer flowing from the presence of God but demonstrating your contempt through any negative action you take. Even though God's presence is everywhere you are, there are many that turn away from Him during times of deep tribulations, feeling He has left and no longer gives His love or His light. Understand there is a distancing being done when you allow your emotions to overwhelm and control you. There is a distancing in your nature and it is between the dear souls that attach themselves to their lives where they take care of the normal considerations, they eat, drink, give their tired body rest and try to earn a living, whereas other dear souls find themselves obliged to their unchangeable nature and they become smaller each day. But when emotions hit, these differences seem to disappear and new directions can be sought regardless of what your true nature is. Many times when high emotions hit your morals, thoughts and perception becomes clouded, the power you have over your life becomes nearly unrecognizable, and many times fantasy and illusionary ideas and thoughts take over when you are faced with a situation you lack understanding and possibly not agree with. There is so much inner drama going on nowadays, when there is so much enlightenment to be had. There are many contradictory displays surfacing throughout your world an impression that the emotional choices of each dear soul is far beyond their own intellectual and logical choices. Because of the conflict of emotions that seem to be on the rise, it makes it difficult for the dear souls that are here sharing peace, love and compassion to get through and help show these emotionally responsive souls that there is another way, the way of love through God's own illuminating presence. Even with so much conflict, we see that there is a great desire for many dear souls to turn towards their own inner spiritual sphere of self, to remove themselves from the dark and negative realm of the outside world and live a spiritual and meaningful life. The dear souls that don't fall into the overwhelming tiredness of life, will indeed find their true selves when they choose the path of light and will begin to feel quickly the magical and enticing feeling of being home in their inner world. Unfortunately dear ones, there are many among you that are easily distracted and have a hard time committing to a purer and more spiritual life, they return to the world to continue their slandering of others, to lie and cheat and hide in darkness in order to avoid the light. But the truth is dear ones, no matter how hard one tries to hide, God is always there with them, His all-knowing presence is there offering different directions to choose that are less dark and more light and love-filled. He never gives up on any of His children. It is important for the dear souls that have willingly and consciously chosen to live a spiritual life, a life that is filled with acceptance, love and compassion for all people of all classes and backgrounds to fill their hearts with hope, that their love, compassion and joy will help touch others, so they too may feel joy and to know they are blessed in the smallest of ways. Light penetrates any darkness and when you allow God's light into your heart, there are endless possibilities for your journey that are filled with positivity and goodness. You may not be able to touch a mass of people, but it is possible to shine God's light through your own mindful thoughts and actions that will help to instigate positive changes so they may begin making positive choices. When you are able to help bring change to one dear soul, know that through this one dear soul you have helped bring change to the world. And in time more and more dear souls will feel joy in their heart and will remove themselves from the negative and hateful world that demonstrate hate towards God, and choose to live through their heart, following God's word, inhaling and exhaling God's love and light wherever their feet takes them. Understand dear ones, 
When you are living from a spiritual atmosphere, you have a deep inner knowing and acceptance that you are closely connected to God through every sound, word and action, and it covers you like a warm blanket that calms you like a gentle song. We urge you to bask in God's presence, soak up His joy, and when you feel you can carry any more, go out into the world and share what He has just bestowed upon you through mindful actions, thoughts, words, feelings and through your choices. You don't have to follow the darkened and negative path, the path that could possibly lead you to destructive behaviors, when you can choose to follow the path of your heart which is intrinsically connected to God. Don't let the outside world distract you from your faith and from the goodness of your thoughts and actions, learn to build upon your positive characteristics and help to reform your own personal world and continue to bring in positive changes. Become an example in your community to follow. You don't need to do this by making provocative speeches or saying elaborate words to try and impress your peers, you simply demonstrate your faith, your goodness and your authentic self that you discovered through self-explorations that God is alive and working through you. Your actions will speak louder than any word you could express. Showing how you have reformed your life, and how you spend your time will help illuminate the truth of any differences, the holy sacredness of your heart will shine through. There will be differences among people, but that does not mean there has to be resentment or lack of communication as a result of these differences. Within all the differences there is so much to learn and to gain if you can just stop projecting your resentment and judgments, learn and become wiser and fill your heart, mind, soul and body with peace, joy and compassion. You can become the cup bearer of love and peace. To have this sacred fire burning inside your heart when you choose to replace your grief for smiles of joy and happiness. Within each dear soul beats a heart that beats a sacred language that is of love, and each dear soul also has the potential of becoming weary. Your love and weariness comes from your soul dear ones, and they speak sometimes together and other times separately of your inner innate need for eternal bliss. Sadness and love easily become intertwined because you are able to hear the cries and laughter on different waves but still carrying the same song of love, and you may find yourself overflowing with tears for no apparent reason other than you have so much love in your heart that is aching to be shared. So we say, share this love, touch every soul you can, and remember as you share your love with each dear soul, you are also sharing God's presence in every step, every smile, every gesture every kind word and thought. Learning to recognize the charm and mystery to God and His undeniable presence helps to bring you into higher planes of understanding where you find even the darkest of nights are blessed by His nearness. By turning inward to listen, you are able to hear what is moving all around you and your emotional self is able to mature and grow in the direction needed for your own personal experiences to have deep meaningful purpose. When you permit God to be an active energy and presence in your life, dawn doesn't just flow into your homes as day breaks into light, dawn flows into your heart and stays with you in your heart. Allow yourself to be associated with God, become confident in His love, and know through your commitment to follow His word of love, you will receive gifts that will come only from Him. There will no longer be any tension in the power of your soul as you give yourself time for prayer and meditation that helps to strengthen this relationship you have chosen to re-establish, grow, and develop. Your emotions can either help you remain in tune to the rhythm and goodness of life or they can help you become out of tune with your natural self. Each dear soul is humming their own unique tune of their life, some songs bear grief, joy, love, excitement, etc. And what does your soul sing? Are your emotions mixed? Have you learned to drop the fear and give yourself to God's unwavering love and light? There are many questions you can ask yourself and each question deserves an honest and truthful answer. And with all the answers you discover, are you willing to take positive action to bring in the changes that will help create the kind of life your heart and soul is directing you towards? We encourage each of you to look at your yesterday your today, and think of your tomorrow with all your faith, hope and love and to see in each one the joy and mystery of God's presence and depth that He brings daily into your life. Learn to recognize that in your heart is a world of love and deep connection with nature and all things that has been touched by God. Your emotions don't have to create a continuous flow of limiting ideas. 
your emotions can easily become your tickets to seeing the unlimited side of your real and authentic self. The choice is always yours. Of course there are many dear souls that cannot yet comprehend that some struggles have come into their life stream in succession, but in time every dear soul will come to realize that they have repeated themselves in their actions and are living through their repetitive choices, and when the realization finally hits that they have been going around in circles, then they will be ready to listen to their soul, to their heart and begin to make new choices, going into new directions. Sometimes certain notes of your own personal heart and soul song are changed, but the change is always for the better. Find a station in your life, where you can live your truth and be at peace with all that you are, and with all that life has given you to experience. Let your experiences become the paradise and heaven of your inner self and wisdom. You have traveled far and there is still so much more to uncover. The more you remove yourself from the negativity and darkness found within heavy emotions, the more you will definitely uncover of yourself and the more pleasure and joy you will find in life. Make each day a delight and instead of seeking out someone's faults, seek and discover that they too have an expressive side that sings a beautiful song that is just waiting to be heard. I am Melchizedek through Julie Miller. SpiritualNetworks.com